Hey everyone, thank you for joining me on another tutorial. I'm Mordi from eifeed.com, uh, the source for your elementary design inspiration. If this is your first time on this channel, I do experiments in Elementor and I share them uh, here as step-by-step -step tutorials. I also include the JSON files for you to use on your own projects. If you want to get an update every time a new tutorial is up, subscribe and click the bell icon. So today I'll show you how to add some complex animations with Lottie. For those of you who don't know what it is, Lottie is actually um, like a library that uh, Airbnb built for themselves so they can do animations on the web. And it was such a good project, so uh, they decided to release it to the public as open source. What it does it takes um, animations you do in After Effects and you can export them to code, to JSON files. And you can use that code on websites. It's very lightweight. You can create very complex, amazing animations. It doesn't load heavy on your website. It's really, I think, one of the best things that happened to the web in the past years. What I saw people doing in Elementor with it is uh, mostly just buttons and arrows and stuff like that. But uh, you can really do amazing stuff with it. And what I wanted to do in this experiment is to combine it with Elementor's motion effects and to see how they behave together. This is what I'll be creating today. You can see there's a lot of animation of the desktop and all the rest is Elementor's motion effects and you can see when I scroll you can see the circle from behind rotating that's also Elementor and you can see it works perfectly together let's go straight to the tutorial first as always I want to take you through just a little bit show you the whole ingredients of everything. What we have here is a section with two columns and this is just a Lottie widget. Now what you need to create this is first this plugin which is called Animator. You can just add new uh, plugins, search for it. It's going to be first, just install it. No need to set it up, it doesn't have any settings. It just gives you a widget that can upload JSON code animations to your website. After you install it, you'll see here, you can just uh, skip straight through it, this one. You can just drag it, put the code inside, and that's it. Now, you need to get an animation, a JSON animation. If you know After Effects, you can create it yourself. Then you can use the body moving plugin to export the JSON, put your own animations here. But if you don't have any animation skills, there is this website called Lottie Files. There are a lot of uh, Lottie animations here. You can use the search, try and find something you love. You can just search like by popular, by categories. Really amazing things here that you can use for your own websites. Endless possibilities. Now, once you find an animation you like, you click on it. You can see the animation playing. You can download a JSON file. You can also download the animated GIF or MPG4, but the whole reason to use Lottie is it's built in code and it's uh, lightweight. So you download the Lottie files. Let's try to find the one I used. You can actually just use a different one just for the example. So you have this animation. You can download it as is or 
you can edit the animation itself. As you can see, you can make it faster, change the background, set interactivity, a whole bunch of options. Now, if you open the editor, I'll just show you this real quick because sometimes you need the background to be different and you need to make it fit your own design. So, you'll need to edit it here. You have the dimensions, frame rate. Duration, background color, play speed. And then you export here. Now you can choose each of the layers. And you can see the editing options. Not every uh, file has the same editing options. So this is what you get. You can edit the colors in here also. Then you just export. Just save it to the desktop somewhere. You can see from this example, some files will also let you download the After Effects file. So you can load it to After Effects, then you can customize it a lot better to your needs. And from there you need to save it as JSON. Same process. Let's put it here. Just throw it inside. Select the file you downloaded. Upload it, insert. There you go. Now for the settings. You can use the alignment, of course. You can add the link to it. And the animation uh, options, you can make it move faster or slower. You can auto play it. If you don't auto play it, you can make it play only when you mouse over it. You have a lot of settings, you need to play with them a little bit. That's it. You just need to use it creatively, find good animations, combine them. You can combine it with the Elementor animation, if it's motion effects, scrolling effects. Most of them work together well. Sometimes you'll get some weird stuff, so you need to experiment with it. As you can see, the mouse effects work perfectly. Also the rotation. Also, it is responsive. It stays in the same quality. That's the best thing about the JSON files, that they are a, a vector. They're not built from pixels, so it doesn't matter what, what size you choose to use it, it will stay sharp and it will look great. Even if I really, really scale it up, you can see it still looks amazing. And it's really lightweight too. You don't worry about loading times and stuff like that works uh, perfect thank you for watching guys i hope this helps you in your own project and i would love to uh, to see what you make of it so please share them with me if you need anything let me know in the comments below i would love to help you i will be sharing more of these experiments so if you want to get updates subscribe and hit the bell icon don't forget to visit eifeed.com for more inspiration I collect the best elementary websites I can find online and put everything there. You can search for inspiration by categories, color, just anything you need to get inspired. That's it. Until next time, stay inspired.